In this video, I'll discuss the rise of one of my favorite up-and-coming indie bands, Dayglow. How does an 18-year-old in the middle of college create one of the best releases of 2018, gain over 1 million Spotify listeners, go from opening up small shows in Austin, Texas, to touring with Coin and playing big festivals like Austin City Limits? Normally, it takes years of grinding and multiple releases for bands to achieve the success Dayglow has. However, it has only taken Dayglow a little over a year and one eight track release to accomplish this. So if you haven't heard of Dayglow, you might be wondering, who the heck is this band? Dayglow is an indie pop artist based out of Austin, Texas. Sloan Struble, Strubble, sorry dude, I don't really know how to pronounce your last name. There's one interview with you and they don't even mention how to pronounce your last name. So Sloan is the mastermind behind the band and is basically the definition of the DIY mentality. It's safe to compare Sloan to Kevin Parker of Tame Apala in the sense that Dayglow's debut LP Fuzzy Brain was recorded and produced by Sloan in his bedroom during his short stay at the University of Texas. Everything about this release is 100% Sloan. He almost commissioned one of his favorite artists to create the sculpture on the album cover, but in an interview with Afterglow Texas he stated, It was just that final step of doing an album myself. I just went to Hobby Lobby and got some clay and sculpted it in our kitchen. Fuzzy Brain can be compared to such acts like Phoenix, Vampire Weekend, and MGMT. So if those bands are up your alley, go check out this release. Dayglow's rise to the public eye isn't a new concept in the indie world compared to related acts such as Claro or Boy Pablo, but that shouldn't discredit them in any way. I use Claro and Boy Pablo as examples in the sense that they gained their popularity because of the internet. Doko has a really great video about how the internet changed bedroom pop that I'll link below. Over the last year, there has been an influx of indie artists putting up a VHS style music video with some jazz chords, meta humor, and getting solid views by hitting that YouTube algorithm just right. One could argue Dayglo was doing just that, but I don't agree with that statement for one reason. His music is actually good. This is going to sound simple. But good music always cuts through the mass of mediocre copycats of what's popular, every single time. Maybe not right away, but over time, I promise you it will. Bedroom pop is one of the fastest growing subgenres in music right now. When a genre becomes this popular so quickly to the masses, naturally there are going to be a ton of bands that are going to capitalize by writing songs for the sole purpose of just gaining popularity. They write these halfway decent, middle of the mall songs that aren't really bad per se, but they don't hold any substance. Side note, I just mentioned Claro and Boy Pablo recently, but I'm by no means stating they're in the mix of these generic bedroom pop bands. They're both incredible. I'm not going to mention any bands in particular when I'm talking about generic bedroom pop, but I'm sure you have a few that come to mind. That is not the case with Dayglow. Dayglow has the songs to back up the level of popularity they've gained with the rise of bedroom pop. Sonically speaking, Fuzzy Brain reminds me a lot of mid-2000s indie rock such as Phoenix, which is awesome because who doesn't like Phoenix? A lot of bedroom pop recently has taken the less is more approach, which works for some bands, but it's nice to hear Dayglow push the genre by layering and using more effects in his music. Wallows is another great band that uses layers and rad effects in their music, and I'll probably make a video about them too in the future. Anyway, let's take the slapback delay on Sloan's vocals as an example of his rad effects. Can I Call You Tonight has a lush delay tail at the end of almost all of Sloan's phrases to give this washy, larger than life feel to take up space when he's done singing. Delay tails aren't really anything fancy or groundbreaking, but Dayglow's use of them at the right times gives the listener great ear candy that would have left the song feeling empty without it. Sloan's vocal production on the opening track, False Direction, is great as well. On this track, he has two vocal takes panned left and right to create this wavy effect to add extra character to the song. You can hear this in full effect at the 3 minute 32 second marker in the song. From Sloan's double-tracked vocals to his Phoenix-style synth leads, he's really hit that sweet spot by creating music in a familiar but refreshing way that people can enjoy. What I really think hits home for me and a lot of people are Sloan's lyrics. While his lyrics aren't anything mind-blowing, they're very relatable to a young audience going through the themes of a 19-year-old in college just trying to figure it all out. Take the second verse in Can I Call You Tonight, for example. Voice solo, sneaking around so it goes, I always try my best to listen, Picking up things that I can fidget, circle speed, pacing around, watching my feet, batteries drain, I get the memo, I think I might have to let you go. 
It's safe to say everyone has gone through a situation where you're on the phone with someone, you're pacing around your room until your battery runs out, you're picking up things in your room for whatever reason, or you're just wanting to talk to someone on the phone by simply asking, Dayglow doesn't just cover relationships. Look at Run the World as another example. On the surface, this song might look like a self-reflection of Sloan's personal feelings about himself, but when I was taking a closer look at this song, it almost sounds sarcastic. Now, I could be wrong, but let me read the second verse. I'm never honest. I'm faking all this. Just point those fingers, because I could never be hurt. I'm not what I say. Oh, I'm so fake. Just an illusion. Props to your conclusions. And why is it that I believe everything they speak of me? It's hard for me sometimes to see beyond all that they want. I don't know if it's just because I'm a sarcastic person, but I'm reading this as sarcasm. Let's read the verse again, starting with the last two lines. And why is it that I believe everything they speak of me? It's hard for me sometimes to see beyond all that they want. I'm never honest. I'm just faking all of this. Just point those fingers because I can never be hurt. I'm not what I say. Oh, I'm so fake. Just an illusion. Props to your conclusions. Personally, it sounds like Sloan is stating these people think these things of him that just aren't true. It seems like Sloan is annoyed by all these things people are saying about him. Hence why he wants to run the world. It's such a rad perspective to have in a song for a genre that doesn't primarily talk about these things. When you talk about the rise of an artist, their image comes up. Sloan's music can stand alone but the addition to his infectious aesthetic is even better. Again, there isn't anything crazy about his aesthetic, but I love that he's 100% himself. His image is being unapologetically who you are. When you embrace being yourself, you're very happy. It looks like Sloan has embraced that because he's intentionally happy in every single photo, video, and post he makes. I don't think I've come across anything online where he's not smiling. Sloan having a good time in his band makes me have a good time listening to his music. His music videos for Can I Call You Tonight, Hot Rod, and Nicknames stay with this theme of happiness and just having a good time doing what you love to do. I think it's so important for bands to figure out their image and then heavily roll with it. This has to be a big reason why Dayglow has become so popular so fast. Sloan knew every aspect of how he wanted the band to be perceived. It's 100% worked so far and there's no sign of it not working going forward. To wrap this up, do not sleep on Dayglow, I'm telling you. They are one of the very few up and coming bands that I anxiously wait to see what they will do next. And you should keep them on your radar as they grow. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know who you want to see me talk about next. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. On this channel, you'll find live session videos with bands such as Honey, The Sidekicks, Noah Gunderson. You'll also find more videos in this type of format. You're gonna see more videos coming out very soon. We're gonna start pumping out weekly content, so you're gonna wanna subscribe. All right, that's it, bye.